we are a microcosm of a macrocosm, that everything that basically occurs in our life is just really a reflection of what's going on within us internally. Lessons. This is Derek Rocco Moore. And, um, you know, one of the cool things about comedic spirituality is that the quote unquote comedic gods and goddesses are a personification of ourselves. Okay. Now, what that means is that since we are a microcosm of a macrocosm, that everything that basically occurs in our life. It's just really a reflection of what's going on within us internally. Okay. Now, to kind of get an understanding of what I mean by that, let's say, for instance, you see an individual and that individual is having all kinds of issues going on in their life. Okay. Let's say they're having problems in regards to money. They're having all kinds of problems with their money. All right. From a metaphorical perspective, okay, or spiritual perspective, we could say that basically those problems, the obstacles, and the, all the issues they're having in regarding money is Set. Okay? Set basically has his, you know, has his hands all wrapped around that individual's life, and that's the reason why they're having all kinds of problems and obstacles and so forth in regards to that issue. Okay? But from a metaphysical perspective, what it means is, since we are a microcosm of a macrocosm, okay, from a metaphysical perspective, what it means is that that individual is having some issues or they're having some problems, some egotistical issues or, you know, egotistical problems in regards to money, okay? Um, it, it maybe they're, they're being selfish. Maybe, uh, you know, they are, they need to learn how to control certain things. They need to learn how to manage their money better. Um, maybe they're, you know, they, they, they buy things in excess or so. So from a metaphysical perspective, it's giving us a little bit more information in regards to something that is going on with us that we have to work on. By us going ahead and doing that, or by us going ahead and understanding things from that nature, instead of pointing the finger and saying, well, it's just set, or it's the devil, or it's whatever, okay? By us going ahead and looking at it from this perspective, from a spiritual as well as the metaphysical perspective, that gives us the power to go ahead and change it instead of depending upon something else outside of us to save us. Okay? Now, that's very important. Like I said, that's pretty cool because what that means is that if we have the power to go ahead and change it, we have the power, you know, basically our salvation depends upon ourselves, which means we either grow from it or we do not grow from it, but it's all based upon us. And again, that's a real cool thing about comedic spirituality because it gives me the power to go ahead and to control if I'm going to be controlled by something or be enslaved by something or not. Okay? Now, it's based upon the understanding that our universe is composed of spiritual and the physical realm. Everything that physically exists has emerged out of the spiritual reality. Okay? So what that means is that in order for there to be peace, in order for there to be prosperity, harmony, whatever the case may be, the physical and the spiritual realm, they have to always be kind of like, they always have to be in alignment with each other. Okay? Again, because of us being a microcosm of a macrocosm, this is how our universe functions. This is how we must function as well. Okay? That is the reason why there has to be balance. Now, a lot of times people go ahead and when they hear this thing about comedic spirituality and they hear about ma'at and ma'at, they automatically revert back to thinking, oh, it's all about having um, 
me how it's all about ethics, it's all about morality and, and so forth and so on. And that's a part of it, that's a piece of it, but that's not what my eye deals with, okay? My eye deals with there being balanced. And it's important that you understand that because a lot of times people want to go in here and they revert back to this old way of thinking that it's about, you know, living according to the 42 laws of my eye and this and that and the other, which means that it's basically that my eye is all about good versus evil. And that's not what my eye is about. Okay. Remember, good versus evil or good and evil are two concepts, Western concepts to be exact, that are just basically relative to an individual. Okay, prime example, and I've always used this example. Slavery is considered to be good to some people, but to a whole lot of people, it wasn't. Okay, good versus evil. That's the reason why we don't use those terms. We talk about balance versus imbalance. Okay, balance or my eye versus its effect, imbalance. All right, so with comedic spirituality, when there's an issue, when there's a problem, we will always try to approach it from that perspective. We are looking to try to go in here and either establish or restore balance to restore my eye. And that is the whole purpose of, that's why, I, I don't want to say the purpose, but that's, uh, like I said, that's the cool thing about comedic spirituality, is that that's what we're looking at. We're not, we, we don't approach things, or comedic spirituality, it doesn't approach, uh, it doesn't approach things from a high and mighty perspective. It doesn't start off talking about how God is this and that and the other, and you know, the supreme being, and so forth and so on, in order for you to deal with your issues. It doesn't do that. It puts all that responsibility on you, and puts it in your hands to go ahead and do something about it. OK, if there's an imbalance or if there's something going on, then it's like, hey, this is what you can do to go ahead and fix it. So it starts off with us, it starts off with, you know, with your problems and understanding that, hey, based upon the story of Osir, hey, set when they here and usurp your throne or set when they here and basically a stolen peace and prosperity from you. All right, has stolen the harmony from you. What are you going to do about it in order for you to fix it? So it puts you in the road to be the champion for your own cause, for your own purpose, for your own life, for your own salvation. And and again, that's one of the, like I said, that's one of the cool things about commanding spirituality. Or that's one of the, you know, like I said, it's a real cool thing about commanding spirituality, you know. Um, give you an example of what I mean by this, okay? Because usually whenever you go in here and you come up with these problems or, or the case, you know, you have these problems or anything that, uh, that occurs, what happens is that you, the first thing you do, okay, we want to go in here and we're trying to, you know, keep in mind, you want to go in here and you're trying to, like I say, either um, establish or restore balance. So the first thing you want to do is you approach things from a spiritual perspective, since the physical emerged out of the spiritual. Therefore, when you have a problem, first thing you do, you're approaching it from a spiritual perspective is you get a reading, you get some divination done. And through that divination, it lets you know, okay, what's going on, okay, how the balance can basically be restored. OK, um, and, and like I said, that's I, I think that's just one of the cool things about it. And the example I was going to give, I was just thinking about that. The example I was going to give is, for instance, you know, a lot of times when people go in here and they have like an illness or so, um, they will, what do you call it? They will go in here, you know, they take medication, take herbs, whatever the case may be, herbs, remedies, whatever the case is that only deals with the physical side of it okay it never addresses the spiritual root of it okay remember our universe is based upon spiritual the spiritual reality and the physical reality it's the physical that emerged out of the spiritual so the root is going to be a spiritual okay it's going to be a spiritual root all right so you know like i said prime example with my myself 
when I was diagnosed that time, uh, you know, that many years ago <laughs> with uh, the systemic lupus, they couldn't tell me where I got this from or how this occurred. They couldn't tell me that, okay? Not only that, what I find kind of interesting is that there was no one in my family that even had, you know, any of these symptoms. And if they did, they definitely didn't tell anybody about it, okay? Nobody knew about it. So, but it was through divination that I ended up going ahead and trying to find out where, why did I have this? Why did, what happened? What occurred? What was the root cause of this? And because of that, because of me approaching it from that perspective, along with doing, the, you know, my remedies or whatever the case is, um, you know, that I was taking, I combined the spiritual and physical together. And that's how I was able to cause this illness to go into remission. OK, so like I said, this is their approach, and that's, that's what I find to be so cool about comedic spirituality. It's about, it's all about going in here and establishing some kind of balance. It's all about trying to go in here, and not, I don't want to say just about establishing, but about restoring, establishing and restoring balance, okay? So, just wanted to go in here and let you know that, uh, just share that with you. If you, again, if you got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to drop me a line. Um, thanks again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Okay. Um, until next time, head to poop. Peace.